This video is sponsored by NordVPN. On the very first day of the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union in June 1941, the city of Odessa in Ukraine bore the brunt of German aerial bombardment. It was a devastating start to a tumultuous period. In early August, the Romanian general staff set the objective of capturing Odessa and defeating the Soviet forces between the Dniester River and the Tilogolski estuary. The Axis leadership initially believed the city would swiftly succumb to their offensive as it was surrounded on three sides. However, their assumptions were soon challenged. Through the summer, the Germans fought relentlessly on the Eastern Front, leaving a trail of destruction behind them. Adolf Hitler himself felt confident and even claimed that the enemy had practically lost the war. But little did he know that there was another Hitler in Odessa, a worthy opponent determined to defy his infamous namesake. As Russian author and historian Boris Akunin remarked ironically, quote, the Red Army soldier Hitler was not fond of the man with the same surname. An embarrassing surname akin to that of the German leader isn't the only reason to want to protect your online privacy. Safeguarding your personal and business information has become more critical than ever. The good news is, it's also easier than you might think. The most trusted company in online security is on a mission to make the internet better for you. And like the digital nomads we are at Dark Docs, we always make sure to rely on the protection of NordVPN. As we strive to deliver the best possible content for you, our research sometimes takes us to places that can be filled with threats and malware. And yes, delving into history's darkest secrets can sometimes prove dangerous. Believe us, we know. That's why we trust NordVPN, which scans all files and warns us in advance. Now we want you to try it too. Dark Docs viewers will get four extra months on a two-year plan by visiting nordvpn.com slash darkdocs. And with their 30-day money-back guarantee, it's risk-free. With protection, nobody can track or share what you do online, ensuring your data remains your own behind impassable encryption. Besides, NordVPN stores all your passwords with its NordPass manager so you don't forget them. NordVPN is an easy-to-use privacy solution, and its experienced and friendly team offers 24-7 customer support and will soothe all your worries. Don't take risks with your online security. Step up your privacy game today by going to nordvpn.com slash duckducks and claiming our special offer. The Assignment Semyon Konstantinovich Hitler, a Ukrainian Jew, served as a machine gunner in the Red Army. Alongside millions of other Soviet citizens, he was resolute in preventing Germany's victory. Born in 1922 in the village of Arinin, in the Khmelnytsky region of Ukraine, Semyon represented the very Jewish nationality that the Germans sought to destroy. The irony was not lost on anyone. As a member of the Komsomol, Semyon joined the Red Army in 1940, and his surname would become a source of both irony and defiance on the battlefield. Trained in a machine gun school in the Odessa military district, Simeon was mobilized by the district military commissariat once the German invasion began. He found himself at the forefront of the defense. Serving as a machine gunner in the 74th Separate Machine Gun Battalion of the Tiraspol Fortified District. Tiraspol stood fortified with an impressive array of defensive structures. A total of 284 formidable bastions adorned its landscape, consisting of 262 machine gun posts and 22 artillery structures. These defenses spanned approximately 93 miles along the front and extended 2.5 to 3.7 miles in depth. The mighty rivers, Dniester and Turunchuk, flowed generously, serving as natural barriers that added an extra layer of fortification. In certain sections where the rivers meandered, the fortifications were a mere 0.6 to 1.9 miles deep. During the year 1941, Simeon, a young man of just 19, found himself stationed within the fortified region, specifically on the left flank of the Soviet troops' western border. His assigned post was situated upon a high point, referred to as the Height 174.5, as documented in his award papers. Unbeknownst to him, the war was swiftly approaching, about to unfold right before his very eyes. Uncommon Valor July 20th, 1941, bore witness to fierce battles raging near Simeon's post. Then, on July 25th and 26th, the Germans achieved a significant breakthrough by successfully crossing the mighty Dniester River and breaching the Soviet defenses. In the face of this onslaught, many Soviet soldiers began to retreat, and the Germans swiftly encircled the area where Semyon was stationed, known as Dot. Initially, Semyon's platoon withdrew to a safer distance, attempting to fend off the enemy's advance from the vantage point of a hill, 
providing cover fire for their fellow soldiers. However, the relentless German forces managed to infiltrate their rear lines and encircle Simeon and his comrades. Simeon valiantly supported his rifleman platoon in their relentless offensive, engaging the enemy for eight consecutive days. Although wounded, he refused to be silenced, tirelessly firing his weapon. Surrounded and wounded, Comrade Hitler stood alone, armed with a machine gun, fearlessly providing fire support for the advancement of his platoon. Undeterred, he valiantly fought until his ammunition was depleted. Without abandoning his weapon, he navigated through hostile territory to reunite with his fellow soldiers. Undaunted by the perilous situation, he crawled a staggering distance of 10 kilometers amidst the enemy forces, clutching his faithful machine gun, and miraculously rejoined his unit, single-handedly downing over a hundred Wehrmacht soldiers. Not once did he relinquish his machine gun, fully aware of the significance it held, determined to prevent the enemy from claiming it as their spoils. What's in a name? August 14th, 1941, was not an ordinary day for the commander of the Tiraspol Machine Gun Battalion stationed at the fortified fortress of Zakharchenko. He found himself confronted with a challenging task, compiling a list of commendations to be submitted to his superiors. However, there was an unexpected entry on the list, a surname uncommon among Soviet soldiers, Hitler. According to certain sources, the surname was spelled as Gitler with a G in English. It is worth noting that both Gitler and Hitler share a similar translation into Russian, rendering the English spellings inconsequential to the Russians when it came to writing and pronouncing these names. On one hand, there was no ambiguity about the individual's unquestionable act of bravery. On the other, the inherent risks involved in signing a document bestowing a distinction on someone with such an ill-famed surname during wartime loomed large. Nevertheless, common sense prevailed. After considerable deliberation, a decision was reached to honor Private Simeon Hitler. It was collectively agreed not to allow the coincidence of his name to influence the young private's deserving nomination. Thus, on September 9, 1941, Lieutenant General Georgi Pavlovich Sofronov, commander of the Primorsky Army, appended his signature to the list of commendations. The document bestowed upon Private Simeon Konstantinovich Hitler the prestigious For Courage Medal. Within the award sheet, alongside a description of the valiant feat and biographical details, there existed evidence that Simeon Konstantinovich Hitler had indeed been awarded the Medal for Courage. Curiously, in certain sections of the document, the letter R in the surname Hitler had been changed to the letter V. Military historians have speculated about two plausible reasons for this alteration. The first suggests an endeavor to dissociate the hero from a name that had become universally abhorrent. The second theory posits a simple typographical error, an unintentional mistake made during the documentation process. The Occupation In Odessa, the stage was set for the second Axis offensive. The initial days brought a glimmer of success as the Axis forces made significant advances. However, the tides quickly turned against them as heavy casualties forced them to halt their attacks on August 24th, allowing for a brief respite for the city. September 15th marked a pivotal moment when Soviet troops began their retreat in the southeastern direction, gravitating closer to the city. The following day witnessed a significant development as Romanian troops managed to capture the heights northwest of the Gross Liebenthal district of Odessa. Romania had joined the Axis powers officially in late 1940 and was Germany's main source of troops in the Eastern Front after their own army. Their participation in Operation Barbarossa was considerable and was instrumental in taking important strategic cities like Odessa. As October unfolded, the leadership in Moscow faced a difficult decision. They reluctantly concluded that sacrificing Odessa would be necessary to safeguard other areas of the Soviet Union. They resolved to deploy the defenders elsewhere, leaving Odessa vulnerable to enemy occupation. In the early weeks of October 1941, the Black Sea Fleet played a vital role in the evacuation efforts. A staggering number of 121,000 troops and civilians, accompanied by 1,000 trucks and 20,000 tons of ammunition, were safely transported away from the imminent threat. Any assets that could not be evacuated were deliberately sabotaged by the Soviets, ensuring they would not fall into Axis hands. The monumental evacuation reached its conclusion on the evening of October 15th. The next day, Romanian troops triumphantly entered the city, signifying the end of the battle for Odessa. The occupation of Odessa by German and Romanian forces extended until April 1944. One Letter The story of Simeon Hitler 
along with various other Soviet exploits, gives rise to skepticism, leaving room for speculation that some of the events may have been embellished. Nevertheless, the existence of this soldier remains undeniable. Following his commendation, Simeon continued to dutifully serve his beloved motherland. However, fate dealt him a cruel hand, as he would never live to witness the triumphant conclusion of the Great Patriotic War in Berlin. In June 1942, less than a year after his courageous act, Simeon met his demise while defending the city of Sevastopol. Upon the liberation of the Kamelnitsky region, the surviving relatives of Simeon Hitler decided to alter their surname. In line with the spelling found in the official award document, the letter R was exchanged for a V. Eventually, the Gitlev or Hitlev family made the decision to immigrate to Israel, leaving their past behind. Amongst the family's oral history, a popular legend emerged and was passed down. It tells of a remarkable encounter with the Commandant of the Occupational Administration in Orenin. As the story goes, when the German Commandant examined the documents belonging to the Hitlers, he was struck by trepidation at the thought of dispatching a family sharing the surname of the Führer to the confines of a ghetto. Thus, their surname safeguarded their lives. Thanks for watching. Make sure to protect your good name by shielding your digital identity and taking advantage of the opportunity to get four extra months on a two-year plan with NordVPN. Go now to nordvpn.com slash duckducks and support DuckDucks by subscribing. With NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee, you'll have time to change your mind. But trust us, you won't.